hi what's up how is it going in today's video we are going to be creating you know a poster in corridor 2020 without further ado let's step into it so right now what we're going to do is to go over and change the uh, paint to a2 then you go over to your rectangle to to double click on that automatically snap into paint then let's do a page arrangement so what we're going to do right now is to go over and change the background to gold let's let's change it to gold just like that so right now what we're going to do is to go over and just you know uh, arrange the text in a corner so before we do that let's create you know a picture frame for this you know uh man so what we're going to do is to go over to your polygon to the you uh Hold shift key and keyboard, uh, control key and keyboard to drag perfect, you know, polygon to then you go over and make it six angle. So, the at this sub menu, you know, you can type any angle you want, but uh, let's use a uh, seven. No, seven is not okay, preferably, let's use a uh, six. That's okay. So, right now, let's just drag this code right drag it to the top of the polygon object then you reach your mouse then you know a sub menu pops out then you choose copy your properties automatically changes so make a copy then let's change this to white so make a copy inward again then you select the picture you know look it back or uh, look at object then you look it back clip at the menu then you click on uh, place inside frame select the frame automatically snap into pain so hold out key okay, okay, select the picture then you create the picture just like so good so right now what we are going to do is to group this all up copy it ctrl g on your keyboard then you go over less you know apply you know a uh, shadow click on your shadow to then you drag on the picture automatically you know it, pop, it pops up with in you know, a shadow so actually at the sub menu you can decide to darken the shadow then you know make the shadow a little bit lighter so let's make it five you can see the effect of that but uh, preferably you are going to be using 15 good that 15 is okay then you go over to your object look at you know break drop shadow apart automatically breaks then you group it all up ctrl g look it all up again good <coughs> so right now what i'm going to do is to go over and change this whole thing let's change it to try jam then you use your uh, shift tool to increase the tracking just like so so let's break the uh, test into uh, portions so we are going to be breaking that into a uh, portion proportionally so what we're going to do is to enter from michael so what we are what we are going to do is to just break you know cut from here Ctrl hex then you paste right here can you see that so drag this down a little bit then let's break this into pieces Ctrl K then let's position the uh, what's it called in loving memory to the top then let's make this a little bit you know bigger so right now what we're going to do is to go over to uh let's uh make the background a little bit you know uh darker so what we're going to do right now is to go over uh, to let's double click on this so let's double click on this color right here so what we're going to do is to just you know click right here and uh, let's make it a little bit darker just like so i think this is too dark but uh, i think it's okay so what we're going to do right now is to just you know change 
let's change the test to white so right down likewise this as well or preferably gold so so right now what we're gonna do is to go over and just you know uh, change the uh, name to gold good so right now what we are going to do is to make this a little bit bigger just like so then you change that to swell to go so right now let's uh you know arrange the test uh the address uh to the bottom of the what's it called the name just like so so right now let's change this to white good so in this case what we are going to do is to just you know uh, arrange the chest so right from here let's break let's break it from here it's okay so right now what you're going to do is to just you know select this let's make it you know uppercase it's okay good so right now entertainment enter from entertainment that's the address then you go over to uh so rsvp should be separate enter just like so then uh let's you know uh, make it you know a uh, center alignment then you go over to your shape tool then you bring that in a little bit so let's reduce that to uh, the font size to 12 so right now what you are going to do let's make this uh just one line good good so right now what you're gonna do is to go over and just you know uh let's lay there an emphasis on the heading so right now what we're going to do is to bold in this heading make it a little bit thicker then this final uh what's it called then the rsvp bolding that a little bit then thicken it all up then the what's it called the code color code of the day Boarding that good so right now let's move this closer a little bit move this closer a little bit good so position that beneath you know all of this so right now what we're going to do is to just you know bring in this you know pattern so let's make it white then make it a little bit you know longer a little bit then you center it within uh the design so let's go over and change this font to uh try jan hello paris good so make it bigger a little bit center it within that reduce this uh design a little bit center it within the uh background so right now center uh the picture within the background as well can okay, you see that so reduce the tracking of this you know uh, name a little bit good likewise this as well good so center it within that good so right now what we're going to do is to just you know uh, make this a little bit wider so 
so I want to use this to create the pattern for the background so right now what we're going to do is to go over and change that to white go so then let's convert to bitmap locate bitmap right here convert to bitmap then you hit ok so right now let's go over at your transparency tool then you submit the pops up then you go over onto the top of the you know here change it to uniform transparency then make reduce it uh density of the you know the of the of the lensing to like 95 uh 90 let's make it 90 70 no that's too black. let's make it just 89 good so let's bit map so right now what you're gonna do is to just you know slant it a little bit just like so then you back clip inside adjust that just like so make it a little bit bigger then make it slant a little bit good position that so well so right now what you're going to do is to make a copy to the other side then adjust that a little bit good can you see that good so right now what you needed to do is to just let's let's just make uh, that uh, background a little bit lighter good so let's make it 70 good 70 is okay select the other one let's set it a little bit then change to 70 good can you see that so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below to subscribe and don't forget to uh you know hit the notification button in case i have something you know coming up next so that i'll be prompted as something has been dropped in my channel and uh, do well to give this video a thumbs up a like so that other people can find this video and see what we are sharing right now you know see you in the next video bye for now see.